Over mic showcase, guys. Piers is actually being recorded for a course that he's doing. There's a compositional. It could tell you a bit more about it in a minute. So, but guys, if we can keep the noise down whilst he's playing, because it's being filmed and everything, then that'd be really good. Plus, that guitar isn't plugged in. Right, let's get started. And if everybody who's playing tonight can please know what their two songs are, so we can get up and move on smoothly. Hello everyone. Hello. I'd just like to say it's, it's an honour, um, you know, being on the set list for the last open mic night for the Z Cafe. It, 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 it's been fantastic here, you know, the different people I've got to meet. Um, I've, and, you know, for this night, I've, I've actually composed some, a whole set of different works. Which, which is kind of a first for me, you know, composing a whole set of guitar for an event like this. Nevertheless, they're all different genres, all on different guitars actually, which is somewhat of an experiment to, um, of mine. And the first of which I'm playing on the classical guitar, um, and it's, it's kind of based on film and video game music. I've, I was playing. I was playing quite an old game, and I had had some of this sort of this score from from this video game composer, and it it sounded quite extraordinary. It has kind of a romantic feel to it. It's very meditative if you sort of listen to it, and and it really it really struck me. And just just when I was you know thinking about it, I came up with this I I came up with a sort of meditative idea for it. Sort of quite largely based on it um, and I've named that piece Passacalia. I shall I shall play it to you now. Thank you. 
Okay. I'll now be moving over to to my jazz hollow body guitar. Just give me a second. piece that I wrote, um, I, the, the impetus for this, for this piece was of a quite an unusual technique which a number of virtuosic guitarists that I look up to employ and this, this technique is known as harp harmonics. It's, it's, it can be seen as a combination of, of harmonics on the fretboard and picks and open and pick strings and this from as you can tell from the sound of the name it it sort of has harp like effects if i if i play an example for you now this is a, this is the sort of thing it sounds like you can do it for all kinds of scales really and the most basic is that sort of minor pentatonic shape that you heard there you can you can do it in different ways um, incorporating uh, hammer-ons and pull-offs to, to actually create a scale with it, something like that sort of thing. I took this, so I took this basic idea and incorporated it into a piece. I start off with a pretty simple descending line, and everything kind of um, picks up from there. As for the instrument I'm playing on, this was one of the guitars I got love for, for Christmas. Um, is this guitar specifically I got from my uncle? Um, since since I've requested. Since I'd asked him about whether he, whether he had other some spare guitars or not, this is this is what he had to offer. It's, it's quite good, really. Supposedly, it goes back to the early seventies. Was used back in the early seventies, according to according to my uncle. It's really got a good good quality to it. So, but I thought it would be appropriate to use this for a piece since it has, it goes so well with the sort of heart harmonic effect, and the, the technique has very much a sort of a jazz and a background to it. Hence, hence the choice of the instrument. I shall play, I shall play it to you now.
glad I just about made it through those pieces. Um, now for this next one. It's more, this is the next one I'll be playing on my eight string guitar. will be more of an improvisation um, than anything else. Um, let me just repair and we'll come back in a moment. I see that my friends have arrived. Um, is Sam Cox amongst um, your no. group? No, he's not. I haven't seen Oh, okay. Him. Never mind. I'm in his. Oh, hello. We're all your Um, for this, um, for this piece, um, since uh, Sam Fox is absent, I'd like to invite Stuart up Ooh, to accompany hello. me for this piece. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
Vamos. That was a um, bit of a wild experiment there at the end. Um, let's just call it avant garde as an excuse, you know. Thank you very much for starting us off tonight, Piers. Thank you for helping them out there, Stuart. So well done, Piers! And next up we've got Casway Ronnie, who's going to take to the stage very quickly now. You're right over there, Alex. Yeah. Piers, if you want to leave one of yours on the stage um, with hope that we get to the jam, um, put the other two away, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Cam, if that might need to move with Jolly, can you sort that out for me? Thank you. Can give me in as well, Cam? Cheers, mate. Thank you. Welcome to the stage, Ollie! Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Thank you. 
And there's a voice in my head And it's telling me slow down on it Take a little easy now Slow down baby You miss me in the world In the ocean motor
Thank you.
Which part are you been using for open mic? Is for sale at 500 pounds now, which is a lot less than it would usually be. So if anybody's interested, speak to the guy in the back of Um, so. Lisa, is that a compliment? Sorry, sorry. Is that your red card, Sam? Yeah, please. Has anyone got a cap So, tonight we have the very talented Simon Fisher. Woo! Incidentally, guys, I never said he was talented at playing the guitar or singing. <laughs> 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 sorry, red card, Sam. Not so much. You're just mean. You're just mean. I <laughs> 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 This song's got a few swear words in it, I'm really sorry. Not. Sorry, not sorry. Not I have 
next year. Um, he is next on his second song. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 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 What should we do? What are we doing? Are we done? No one's listening anyway.
Thank you very much, Ian. Sorry, I made a mess of the first one. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so, I'm losing track. It, George, are you ready to go up, guys? <laughs> yeah, you get up with him. Yeah. Ready to go up, guys. I was saying the right thing. Right, welcome, George, to the stage. And if Raph's around, just to let you know, Raph, you're next. I always have to play Scott Rapp and he's disappeared. Got Ollie on the drama. You're up, you're up, Arthur. Go off to George. Yeah, you're up. Oh, yes. Alright, so Andy, Andy, feel what? Good. I was snare on the snare back on.